Hey guys, how you going? Uh, my name is Dom and welcome to your 10th Dom7 tutorial. Um, so today I want to take you guys through Dom manipulation inside Dom7. Um, so I've picked 7 um, of my most, I think, useful methods inside Dom7 to achieve some form of Dom manipulation. Um, so we've got this unordered list on the HTML page with 3 list items inside of that. Um, inside the source code for this document it looks like this. So we have um, the UL right here with an ID of my list, then those three list items inside there. So inside the JavaScript, um, we can begin with the HTML method inside DOM7. Um, so this one lets you both get and set the HTML um, of a group or a single element. Right, so um, down here, let's just set the HTML for this unordered list element. So we're going to first select the my list ID using DOM7. So we can pass my list into here. We're now going to say dot HTML. Then inside here, we're going to put an HTML string. For example, ally and then decode. Right. So now we're going to replace the HTML of this ID of my list, so this one right here, with decode. So I can save this and then refresh the browser and we get that right there, a single list item. So it worked nice and well. Um, we can also get the HTML by not passing in a argument. So down here, let's just um, alert. We're going to alert out um, once again, selecting the my list. We're going to say dot HTML with no arguments. So we have um, this right here. Alert HTML of this my list ID. So I can save this and refresh, and we get that right there. All right, so perfect. Um, we also have the text method, which is similar to this one. Um, so I'll just comment out all this right here to start fresh once again. Um, and down here, um, the text method works the same as HTML in that you can get and set the text of an element or group of elements. So, um, for example, let's just set the text of the first list item inside the um, inside the um, UL. So we're going to say, once again, we're going to select the my list ID, put a space, and we can say ally colon first of type. So the first list item inside this my list, we're going to say dot text. We're going to change it to something like um, a decode once again. So I can save this and now refresh and we get um, that right there. All right, so you can see how it worked. Um, and the same thing works in that you just call text on its own and you get the actual text content um, returned as a string. Alright, so now we have the each method. So the each method allows you to um, perform a function for each child, or sorry, um, each element that you have selected. So for example, we can select all of the list item elements and then run a function for each one. So down here, let's just um, first once again select the um, the my list um, list, and we can say my list ally, so every ally, dot each, okay, we're going to pass a function inside here, alright, so this function right here is going to run for each list item um, that's been selected, okay, so um, the this keyword inside this function refers to the current list item, alright, so what we can do is I can actually do this. I can say alerts. Okay, we're going to alert out the text of each list item. So we'll say um, here we're actually wrapping um, the this um, keyword or um, the list item itself inside um, the DOM7 function to access the DOM7 methods. All right, we have that. We can say dot text. So we're calling the text method on its own to retrieve the text of this. And this means the list item element. So I can save this and now refresh 
and we get that right there. So decode, bananas, and oranges. Alright, so that's um, quite useful um, indeed. So down here, um, we also have the, um, the is method. So is basically checks whether or not um, uh, an, an element is something. So um, it takes in a selector as an argument and it works like this. So um, if I was to say console.log, okay, we're going to check whether or not the my list unordered list element is in fact a unordered list. So down here, let's just first check and see if it's an ordered list. So we're going to say um, is hashtag my list um, a ul. All right. We can now add the return value of the is method. So we're going to say once again um, dom7 select the my list element dot is inside here we're going to pass in a selector for example ol. So is my list and ol we'll find out. I can save this and now refresh and we get these pop-ups after that though, we get is my list a ul, sorry, a um, ol, false, it's not, right? I can just change this now to ul and also comment out this, okay, save this and refresh and now we get is it a ul, it is, so we get true right there. So that's how the is method works. All right, we now have the append method. So the append method allows you to append HTML elements um, to another element. So um, let's just append some new HTML elements to the my list um, list item. Sorry, the uh, my list list. All right. So let's just first create those elements. So um, let's make a new ally with water inside of it. So let's make that right there. We can make a new constant, call this one a new ally, equal to document.create element. We're going to create a new ally. Okay, we can now say using DOM7, we're going to once again wrap the constant inside the DOM7 uh, function. Say DOM7.text and change it to water. So now this right here generates that right there. So now down here, I can say um, my list dot append. We're going to append new ally to the list. So I can save this and refresh the browser, and we get water down here. All right. We can also append multiple elements. So let's make a new ally. Um, let's put something like headphones inside here as the text and call this one new ally number two. Okay. Um, we can now pass new ally number two as a second argument to this append function. So I can save this and now refresh and we get that right there. Now we can also append HTML strings to um, the list. So I can say as a third argument, I'll put ally and then a random sentence. Okay, so I can save this and refresh and we get a random sentence as the, um, what is it, the sixth ally. Alright, so um, that's definitely very useful. I don't believe um, the standard DOM manipulation in JavaScript allows you to append multiple um, children at once. So that's definitely a useful feature of DOM7 right there. Um, now for the filter method, um, this one allows you to basically remove um, elements inside your collection that don't match a criteria. So, for example, let's say we want to actually make the font weight of um, these allies that have a length of five characters. So, um, we want decode and water to be bold because they're both five characters in length. Okay, so... Um, let's go back inside here and use the filter method to achieve that. All right, so we're going to once again just select the my list. Um, we're going to select the um, list items. Okay, we're going to say dot filter. So filter works um, uh, the same as uh, each in the way that you actually. Uh, where is it? 
Where is that? Here it is. So you pass in a function. So um, let's go down here again and pass a function inside here. So once again, the this keyword refers to the current list item. So we're going to say this. We're going to return a true or false value. So um, if this returns true, it'll keep the element. If it's false, it'll um, ignore it. All right. So we're going to say return um, this dot text dot length equals five. So this dot text gives you the text of the um, list item, and then dot the uh, the length property gives you the length of the string. So we're going to say if it's five characters in length then keep the element. We're now going to say dot uh, CSS and then font weight to be bold. So get all the list items that have five characters in length dot CSS font weight is bold. So I can save this and refresh the browser and we get that right there. Alright, so definitely cool stuff. Okay, so now we have the empty method. So empty, as the name sort of suggests, empties out the entire um, element. So let's say my list got empty like that. I can save this and refresh, and all the list items get removed. All right, so those are my uh, seven methods um, for DOM manipulation inside the DOM7 library. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.